Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not doing it. Sorry. No matter how much you guys ask, I'm not doing it. I swear. I am not gonna... Oh. All right, you sickos. Today's challenge is gonna be something you're probably a little familiar with. We're gonna be playing with something small today by getting the smallest SMGs polyatomic. Now, what do I mean by this? This is what I mean. Look how tiny this thing is. Hold on, let's hop into the fire range real quick. This thing's small. Like, it's adorable. It's so cute. And to get polyatomic on this and the three other SMGs we're gonna be doing today, we need to get... 25 headshots for each of them. And yes, I'm splitting the SMGs up into two different videos because there's too many of them. And just in case you want to try this out for yourself, here are the builds that I'm going to be using for these SMGs. I try to make them as small as possible. I chose the smallest barrel. I made the stock like collapsed if possible or just completely gone. I chose the smallest mag. And for this one, the mag's actually going to be a two round burst, which is awful. So hopefully I can still get headshots that way. And then, so I didn't make the gun any larger for some of these. I picked uh, some some ammo types here so we're going with like overpressured and then just to add insult to injury i made sure that the recoil is as high as it can be for this build so i have everything into aim down sight speed and aim walking speed but yeah this, this is my fennec and this is the val 46 here's our lockman sub and i uh, you may be thinking that's a pretty long barrel for a small weapon that's actually the laser the laser is longer than the barrel on this gun which is kind of ridiculous and since the goal is to make the gun as small as possible i figured all these other attachments kind of make it like longer or like taller and putting myself at a disadvantage here i might as well just have as fast ads speed as possible and our last one is probably the most hilarious looking this is our bass p anyways we got a lot of headshots to get so let's go ahead hop in and try to get these camos done all right game one we're already in a game of progress uh it's pretty early into it but it seems like our team's having a, a rough time over here but i have a feeling this is going to be very frustrating to do especially starting off with this two round burst fennec i don't think i've ever used the two round burst on this gun and i have a feeling that I'm going to be missing some headshots because of the second bullet. It's going to throw me off a bit. Ooh, and the it only being 12 rounds while being a two shot is crazy. I think it does significantly more damage, but it just kind of its weird for SMG. Get back over here. There we go. Not a headshot, but we got our first kill. Hold on, let me inspect this in game one more time. Look at this. It's so cute. Now, in order to make this work, I'm going to need to get some headshots with this and not get RPG'd. Oh, there we go. That's our first one. Oh, that should have been another one. What? Santa Claus just took a bullet to the eye like it was nothing. What's this looking like? Oh, yeah. He didn't even care. There we go. That's another one. Oh, okay. Maybe I just need to hip fire with this. I do have like very fast movement speed, so I need to take advantage of that. There's literally nothing on this gun. Oh, that should have been a throwing knife kill. And you know what? Maybe we need a little crack to give us a boost. Okay. Crack works. The hip fire on this is actually kind of gnarly. I don't know why it's so accurate. I don't even have like the hip fire laser on. It's an ADS laser. This gun is so light though. I could probably throw it as far as I could shoot it. Oh, reload, 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 reload. We got a clean one right here. No, I fumbled that one so bad. I don't know why this gun feels like so much more stressful than some of the other guns that we've done. But there's something about having like only 12 bolts in a mag that's kind of freaking me out. So I'm such a, a reload demon. I, I am a, a COD reload slut where I will reload after even shooting two bullets. So this is not very helpful. Okay. We're kind of popping off. We need to do all that. Oh, oh, perfect opportunity. Easy double. Maybe not easy, but we got one. Another. Oh, don't see me. Get throwing knives. Get stabs. No, we're actually hitting some throwing knives though. I can, I can feel the power. It's been a while since we've hit like consistent throwing knives. I feel like it's just a shipment effect. Throwing knives don't feel as, as saucy on here. It's not as much room in between me and who I'm getting. Okay, no, that's our weapon challenge. We have 100 kills with this now. So our, our gold weapon challenge for this is done. But I'm not going to be fooled. We do not have our headshots yet. Ooh. 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 So it's New Year's Day, the, the day I'm recording this. Or I guess it's like January 2nd now. I'm recording this pretty late. But uh, Happy New Year, guys. Hope you guys uh, were safe. I had a good time last night or, or two nights ago, whatever. Blow me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Hold that thought. We just got it done. And we're getting a few more kills to, to add to it. Ooh, wait. But uh, I was planning on streaming uh, today. We're going to go live on Twitch playing some Pokemon. And then uh, I completely forgot that uh, New Year's is a day of drinking. And there's no way I was going to be able to, to stream today. At least be coherent. So I will I will stream on Twitch pretty soon here. And then we're going to start back up streaming on YouTube soon as well. You know, new, new year, new me. Ooh, eat that throwing knife, you little bitch. You can have one too. Now it's finally time to switch weapons. And one thing I forgot to add to my New Year's resolutions in our last video 
is uh my resolution is i'm gonna get this computer fucking fixed this shit's gonna work i'm gonna make sure of it so i think i'm, I'm gonna bite the bullet and finally get that new processor so i don't have to deal with the issues of my computer just randomly shutting down anymore hasn't done it in a few days but i feel like whenever i bring it up it happens more often so i'm just gonna shut up about it and i hope for the rest of the year it doesn't fuck up even more that's my resolution. Also, this is what our Valve 46 is looking like. Pretty tiny. Not the smallest of the SMGs we're gonna be using today, but I figured I'd throw this right here in the middle. That way we, we work our way down to the more hilarious looking ones. But I have a feeling the recoil on this is not too great. I have not been able to get too many headshots with it so far. And I'm getting beamed. When did this just become hell all of a sudden? It's just chopper gunner running down, constant flashbangs, these guys with riot shields and shotguns running around and fucking me in my mouth. Leave me alone for a second. And now they got a VTOL coming too? Might as well just goatsy to make it easier on him. Ooh, I'm gonna shoot him right in his butthole. Yeah. Not a headshot, but I got him right in the starfish. That should count for something. Come on. No, that should have been multiple headshots right there. Fumbled the hell out of that. Ooh, actually, hold on. We're doing a little better right now. As a teammate. Okay, maybe not. I'm losing it. But a quick little uh, sports update for you guys. You know, the, the gamer guy talks about sports segment here. Oh, uh, the Lions won. We beat the Bears, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do. We needed to beat the Bears to, you know, help our playoff chances. But the Packers also won because the Vikings are, are frauds. And uh, it, it made it so our, our last game's a little more interesting at the end of the season. Next week, we play the Packers at Lambeau Field, which is their, their home stadium. For those of you that don't know. And basically, the winner of that one goes to the playoffs. Well, the, the Packers go to the playoffs if they win. Because they have like a tiebreaker over us. Because I think they beat Seattle or something earlier in the season. I don't really know. But we need Seattle to lose their last game against one of the worst teams in the NFL. The Rams. Who have had somewhat of a, a, a small resurgence with their, their new quarterback. Since their, their starter, our, our, the Lions' former quarterback, has gotten injured. So, holding that hope, Baker Mayfield, you can do it. I believe in you. But uh, we need to beat the Packers, and we need the Rams to beat the Seahawks to be able to get into the playoffs, which is awful. I mean, I, I feel like there, there's a chance that both can happen, but needing multiple things to go right to be able to get in kind of got me on edge. The absolute worst case scenario is the Rams win, but we lose. So our draft pick, which they gave to us for our old quarterback will be worse since they won and then they move down in the draft order or up however you want to put it and then the packers go to the playoffs which is awful for everybody in the nfc north because absolutely hate them so hopefully lions can win it out and the rams can win it out and then i can i can be a happy man for at least a day but if not the season it has been far and above my expectations we're heading in the right direction and i think in the next few years the packers the nfc north and the entire nfc has got something to fear in the lions as long as this wasn't like a fluke season which i really hope it wasn't if this is a fluke season i'm gonna freak the hell out i'm not gonna lie you can't just give me hope and then dash it like that it's been my entire life where we haven't had this kind of hope and then if we just get it to lose it i'm gonna be pissed i'm gonna have to spend years training learning scheming my way into the NFL in some sort of like GM or coach position just to fuck over the Packers myself. I just can't do it anymore. They need to be gone. Oh, and we got a VTOL. And our challenge is done. No, let me call in the VTOL before the game ends. Come on. Let me get my prize. Well, that's two SMGs down. Two to go. All right, this is our Lockman sub with the itty bitty mag. This is so hilarious. I can't believe we're even using these small ass guns. But we're starting off with a headshot. That's a good sign. And this is a 15 round mag. This is ridiculous. I can't believe they even have like mag sizes this small. What is the point? Who's using these outside of doing dumbass challenges like this? Nobody's like, you know what? I, I like the 30 round mag that comes stock with this. I think it's 30 round. I'm just guessing. But I could use less ammo, I think. I even know if it does like significantly more damage to be worth it. I'm just using it because it's dumb. And speaking of dumb, I should have killed that guy with the riot shield. I fucking hate people using riot shields on their backs. Fuck all you turtles. I hope in the next COD, like if they even put the riot shield in the game, it, there should not be an option to use it for overkill. It's just so stupid. It happens every year that the riot shield's in. And I feel like the riot shield gets like hate for it, like as a primary because of how people use it as a secondary, which is really annoying. Cause I have fun using the riot shield as like just a weapon, like trying to go for kills with that, outmaneuvering people, seeing how mad people get when they get killed by somebody who can't even shoot back. And then everybody just uses it for its non-intended purpose of just going on your back 
and it just makes life so annoying for everybody else. And I really don't want to stoop down to that level just to have the same amount of like opportunity as these people. I'll fuck them up regardless. And I don't even run any like ride shield counters. Like I always run throwing knife because that's way more fun than having to drill charge every riot shield turtle I see or like thermite them or, or semtex them. Like from the, the, the bottom of my heart, these people can go fuck themselves. Oh, come on. Like, honestly, who's using this 15 round mag if you can't even get more than like one, maybe two kills with it before it's out? Okay, there we go. That's actually two kills with it. We hit the max capacity of this thing. I will say though, using these guns with ridiculously fast like ADS speeds in no ammo is not helping any of my bad habits. I am so bad with cob reloading and just sprinting after kills or sprinting for no reason. This does not help me at all. I feel like this is gonna make my habits so much worse. Ooh, don't move. Don't you fucking turn. Thank you. I feel like I'm going for point blanks because I cannot aim from far distances with this. I even have like some of these tuned for damage range just to make sure that my recoil doesn't go up at all or like my recoil control. And it still feels like I can't hit anybody from longer than two feet away. Like right there. That was awful. Pretty sure we just need like five more headshots max and then we're done. Oh, we're done. Okay, cool. So less than five. Now we're on to the bass piece. Somebody kill me. Kill me now. Thank you. Look at this thing. This thing is absolutely tiny. And the best part about this is this was like an actual blueprint. Like I was just going through the SMGs trying to find which ones I could make like the smallest. And the bass P came with a blueprint that was already super tiny. It has like a three inch barrel, which is huge to a lot of you guys, I'm sure. And it has like the completely collapsed stock. The smallest mag, like you can fit this thing in your sock. And I love it when, when COD purposefully makes blueprints where they just look hilarious. Like they just look tiny. I want to see them do more like joke guns. Like a lot of the time when they put like a bundle in the shop, it already has like the worst attachments. So that's just, just because like, I don't know, they're evil. But I want them to be hilariously bad. Like I want a noob tube on it with like an eight times thermal scope for no reason other than just like, fuck you. Like I want to see them put every worst attachment possible on a weapon and then try to sell it but it's got to be like self-aware like the bundle's got to be named like ass or something dang that is ridiculous i peeked for a second and immediately got hit with a shock charge these people are brutal shipment has just been hell these people are going fucking crazy on us i think they have two sentry guns up they have somebody watching all angles while other people just run around and murder you i'm no bitch i'm not gonna back out i'm gonna stay in this I'm gonna stay in the pocket and still not even get headshots when the opportunity presents itself. This guy is also ass. I don't know what's going on there. He might be going for like crouch kills. Oh, eat my ass. Nibble on my dingleberries. You just got 360. No way I'm getting stuck by Semtexes too. Leave me alone. Come on, reload. There's another dude right over here. Okay, teammate got him. I think we're finally moving things around. We got them out of their little holds for the most part. Let's just not let them regroup. And I think they're doing that immediately because no matter how much they're kicking our ass right now, I feel like I'm getting close to having all the headshots for this. And I'm getting out of here with polyatomic on this gun, no matter how hard these guys try. What? They have people laying down watching every possible flank too. This is the most tactile I've, I've seen people play shipment. These guys are setting up like insane defenses. I'm pretty sure I'm going like 33 and 60 right now. Like, I would not be surprised to even see my kills in the, or my deaths in the triple digits. Yikes. 60. That is the most in the game, too. All right, we just need 10 more headshots, and we are done. I mean, we still have, like, half the SMGs to do, but we're gonna have to do a different gimmick for that. Let me know what you want to see for that. Because before this video, I was thinking maybe we do, like, the fastest SMGs, but we, we're kind of doing that with the smallest ones. I think they go hand in hand. May I should do, like, the, the longest SMGs. The most long-range builds. But I'm also curious to hear your guys' suggestions. All right, let's not have another game like, like our last one and actually get some work done this game. Let's not die 60 times. My KD's got to be in shambles. I don't even want to look at it. I know it's going to be awful. There we go. That's what we need. Just a little more head. Just a wee bit ahead. You know, just a, just a tip. Just a neck. Actually, just a... No, no, no neck. Only head. Only head. Fuck you and your ride shield, you little bitch. And how come every game I'm getting into, somebody's got a fucking chopper gutter. Just going crazy. Leave me alone. It's probably me, actually. It's probably me feeding them and giving them enough kills to get it. Okay, I think that's gotta be it. Oh, it is, sick, let's go. Perfect. Get me out of this hell. 
It's nothing but mortar strikes and chopper gunners. I'm out. Let me make sure that we did get polyatomic on this though. Perfect. And I think we have it for all the SMGs or all the SMGs that we did today. Beautiful. All right, let's hop in game and see what they look like there. Actually, before that, let's look at the KD. We're still at 1.0, baby. Just barely. Like really, really close to going under. All right, this is what our Val 46 looks like with polyatomic. This is beautiful. This camo looks better and better every day, especially since now. That I think we're at 29 out of 51 for Orion. So we're way over, or not way over, we've eclipsed the halfway point. And this is our Vector 46. This is my favorite. This one is so tiny. I just want to like swaddle this one up and, you know, burp it. You know, give it a little burp. Maybe feed it a bottle. Look how tiny it is. It's just a baby. And then we got our Lockman sub. Little itty bitty tiny little guy. And our Boss P or BASP. I don't know. Don't care. It's still just a little baby though. There you have it. We got like half our SMGs done in sizes that rival your dick size. I'm looking at you, Jonathan. I hope that freaks somebody named Jonathan out. But <laughs> we're, we're getting a little close to Orion here. Uh, I'm having fun doing these like random builds. So make sure you leave some random builds down below. Like what kind of concept do you want to see? But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And thank you for 169,000 subs. That's sex plus 100,000. So that's pretty sick. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.